Barges on the Mississippi River are at a standstill. Meanwhile, some are questioning how often inspections are done on bridges across the state. Jay Burke covering that angle for us tonight. Jay. Yeah, good evening, Bob. RDOT is responsible for every single bridge in the state of Arkansas. So everything from big time highways all the way down to county roads. And that comes out to about over 13,000 bridge structures that they have to inspect. A lot of focus is being put on the I-40 bridge over the Mississippi River, but RDOT also has to look out for other bridges in the state. If you have three pipes that are crossing a ravine, for example, that's, that's allowing any kind of traffic, and I, the very basic thing, that's considered a bridge, which has to be inspected by us. RDOT has 27 inspection teams throughout the state, and they will look at every part of a bridge, the road, the in-between portion, and the underside of a bridge. Also, every four years, teams will actually look at portions of a bridge that are underwater. The inspections are pretty thorough. It's not just a, a walk through, kind of look over, hey, this looks good, hey, that looks bad. It's a it's a pretty thorough and, and you know inspection. The state has a good track record. Last year, the state performed 10,384 inspections and only found 670 problems that needed attention. We certainly don't want you know, anything to come in under, but but that's that's not a bad return, I guess. But, you know, we, we certainly want to make sure that the uh, fracture critical inspections or, or bridges, if you will, are, are in the best shape possible. RDOT spokesman Dave Parker says in the case of I-40, the annual inspection of a critical fracture bridge, which is a bridge that has old age and high traffic, did what it was supposed to do before it became a catastrophic event. The inspector found the problem, quickly acted on it, and, and safety became top priority. Now, Parker says that RDOT will also subcontract some of those bigger projects, much like the I-40 bridge. He does say even teams will go in there and actually x-ray portions of the bridge to see if there's any potential problems brewing within some of those steel beams that maybe they cannot see on the surface. But for now, live in North Little Rock, Jay Burr, KRK, 4 News. All right, Jay.